Maria, let's just get right started right away. Uh, let me just introduce uh, you to our audience uh, in, in case they don't know. You are, in addition to being an executive producer on this film, you have led the investigations for the Anti-Corruption Foundation, an organization that was founded by Navalny. You've worked alongside him for a decade. Uh, you were with him in Siberia when he was poisoned. Can you just start by telling us how he is doing emotionally and physically, and, and, and also perhaps tell us a bit about how you were doing emotionally and physically? Uh, well, let's start um, from the most important bit, uh, from, from what's happening to Navalny at the moment. In terms of his um, physical conditions, it's, um, well, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't really change much over time. He has been held in a solitary confinement in a so-called punishment cell for over three months, something close to four months, um, in a little tiny cell, two by three meters big, um, a cell where you're not meant to spend more than 10 or 14 days. Uh, but the Russian prison system and the president's administration, I'm sure Putin himself came up with this very sickening system of um, rolling punishment. Um, as soon as he serves his um, 10 or 12 day sentence in solitary confinement, he gets out and he gets resentenced uh, to another um, 10 or 12 days in solitary confinement. And this goes on and on and on forever um, without stopping. Um, his life in a solitary confinement means that for the entire day he's locked up in this little concrete box. Um, he is um, not allowed to do anything really. Uh, he's only allowed to read a book, but only one book per term. And for 30 minutes a day, he has been given a pen and paper. And this is when he can respond to, to some letters that he receives. And um, apart from that, is nothing. He only has um, his um, book, his mug, and that's pretty much it. And every time, every 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 couple of days, they come up with new uh, violations of prison rules um, that Alexei commits, and that become reason uh, for keeping him in a solitary confinement indefinitely. Um, all of his ch charges are very much obviously trumped up. They are. Um, they have to do with the prison protocol. For example, the last charges were, were, were given to him for the fact that he washed his face at 20 minutes ahead of the um, schedule, not at 6 a.m., but rather like at 5.30 or something like that. Uh, we, we all understand that this is very much just a cover-up for the real crime uh, that he's committing, which is speaking um, out loud about the war and being probably the loudest anti-war voice from inside Russia. Um, 